Steven has officially left. He's flown the coop. He's gone. Hi, Sody family! Welcome to the Depressive Show. That didn't make sense. No, and you're already starting it so down. Guys, are you ready for the worst podcast we've ever made? No, not the worst. You're actually going to want to watch it. The most depressing podcast. I know. I'm getting anxious just thinking about this. I brought popcorn for the show. I didn't know this is what we were going to podcast about until one minute ago. Uh -huh. So I'm super excited to bring up the, maybe the most emotional thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Maybe not and then, quite that far, but it's pretty close. And then it's, the day has just progressively gotten worse. Can't stop eating this popcorn. I'm so depressed. <laughs> it's like, what's going on over here? It's my job to be eating on the podcast, no. not yours. Eating the podcast? On the oh, podcast? I didn't hear the on. Guys, Steven has officially left. He's flown the coop. He's gone. So Steven's not here for... At least, I mean, not, I mean, probably the next two years. Yeah. That's the He will not be probably in this home for the next two years, so it is a void. Guys, I am embarrassed to say how many, like, hours I've spent in his room. <laughs> I sent Stephen an email today. The last. I said, I don't think your mom has left your room yet. She's cleaning your room, no. and she's been in there literally, I would say, 11 hours. 11? Okay, maybe eight. I really think it's been that long. All night. I'm not all night. And then all morning. I decided to work in there. Like I, I was posting to social media. I was, I was scrolling. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make this. I made a TikTok, super sad, depressing TikTok. It has 1.3 million views though. People like to watch us cry. There was a lot of tears the last like <laughs> 48 hours. Yes. It's all Jared's fault. He was the first one to start him. It was. Jared said goodbye, Steven started crying, and he didn't stop for 24 hours. No, and then I started crying. Everybody started crying. The girls were crying. The girls, okay. Yesterday was the drop-off day, so we it's still fresh, right? So yesterday morning, but it really started the night before he said goodbye to cousins, he said goodbye to aunts and uncles, and things <clears> started <throat> getting heavy, and I know why he was dreading it. People were like, oh, are you excited? They were doing a little party. And he's like, no, because he knew the goodbyes were coming. And he was right. He was right to dread it because the crying ensued. So he is our oldest child, our only son. Yes. He's the oldest grandchild on both sides of the family. Uh-huh. This is a new thing. I mean, we've seen like your siblings go and I yes. and I left and that kind of stuff. But this is a new thing for our family. And his sisters for sure didn't have any clue, I think, how heavy it was going to be on them. Yeah. I could see Taylor knew she was getting ready for it. And she's she been was. anxious the last several days. I think the other ones weren't quite there. Sure. And. I mean. I've gained <laughs> 13 pounds in two weeks. That's not even a joke. <laughs> He's not lying, guys. I've actually pounds, gained 13 pounds. 13 pounds in two weeks. I have deep cleaned several sections of the house. She was cleaning, like, drawers I didn't know we had, pulled out. I That's sad. All of a sudden, randomly, really there was that. things that I've, I couldn't find anymore. I was like, what happened to all these things? Yeah, those are gone. We don't have oven mitts anymore, so see you later. They were um, dirty, so I threw them away. I had to talk her out of scrubbing every single crack in the floor. I'm not sure I've done that yet, but no, we're because that, on it. it does need to be done. And so it does we are need to be done. I'm convinced on that the cracks need to be massive scrubbed. cleaning. So she's been cleaning, I've been eating, and the girls are still pretty upset and angry and I think frustrated. everyone is in a bad mood. Everyone has like a cry headache. We could be getting sick. I woke up that morning off of everything. And my eyeballs hurt from the night before. So I was literally <laughs> and like this I woke was up and I was like the morning that we had to cry more. And not a headache. My eyeballs, like I could feel my tear ducts were like, and then I went and I was like. Taylor said the same thing. Yeah. She's like, my eyes are like drying on fire. I was like, I'm gonna drive and get some bagels for the kids and everybody for the last goodbye breakfast kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And just bawled the whole time. Put some jelly roll on and just cried. That's it. 
interesting choice of music. The I Am Not Okay song. I just oh. started bawling. I lost yeah. it. I saw it on TikTok and I was like, that, that's a good one. I clicked. And I was like, why am I doing this to myself? Just bald. I Am Not Okay. Just an emotional wreck. Mm-hmm. And... I dropped a popcorn. I mean, the night before, crying, morning of, got everybody ready. <laughs> Went to the cemetery, <laughs> took family pictures, because that's where we like to go as a family sometimes when we're taking family pictures and stuff. Had a little picnic, and then it was time. We were going to drop the kids off at school after this, the girls off, and then take Steven, you know, the hour down to Provo where we're dropping him off at a be building called the MTC. He'll stay there for two weeks and then fly to Las Vegas. He's going to be speaking Mandarin Chinese and stuff, so he, we said goodbye at the cemetery, kind of. We, so this is after I the know. night of crying and saying goodbye, basically. We all were just laying there crying, hugging all night. Yeah. Go to the cemetery, say goodbye again. Uh -huh. This is the official goodbye. It's round two. But then we decided to go and drop all the kids off at school and so do then, another goodbye. Yeah. Which was traumatizing for me. <laughs> Steve had a very traumatic event. <laughs> yeah, we, when I say we dropped the kids off of school, Jamie's in the car, but I'm the one who had to take him out apparently. And I took Blake out and her and Steven, she gets out and they hug and they do the little they high They do five. their little, like they did this, they like, double knuckle. Do they do they like go, a ping. Oh, do they do this? I don't know yeah, how they, they does, but. They have a handshake where it's like. I don't know the handshake. Knuckle high five, double knuckle, double high five, double high five, double knuckle, whatever. They do that, they do that. So Steven's like last one, so they did it. And then. Steven lost it. Yeah. Pretty much. She looks back at him. He's and I didn't see this part. Bubbling. But Steven said that like she started like her lips started quivering. So Steven's outside of the car like loudly sobbing. And then Steve's walking Blake into the school. And I thought, oh, he's just dropping her off. You know, I'm just waiting in the car. Steven gets back in the car. We're sitting there silently. No one's talking. And we're waiting a while for Steve. Yeah, because I went into the school and there's like two sets of doors, you know, the one where you go in and then another set where you had to ring the bell to get in. So like for security purposes. And before we got to the bell, as soon as that door shut behind Blake and that little thing, she completely loses it. Mm -hmm. Like uncontrollable, like her face. I've never had my heart break like it did in that particular moment. Like I literally, so now we're in a public place. Yes. I'm trying not to cry. So I'm like sitting there with like just holding in tears. She's uncontrollably sobbing, bawling. Mm -hmm. And we're just, I'm on my knees, just giving her a hug. And we're just sitting there hugging. And then finally. School had already started. Just, so we're dropping her off So then I just kicked her in. <laughs> so she was late for school. Yeah, so she's no way one's late. around. No one's around. And so finally we go in and we, we know a lot of the people in the school and the office and that kind of stuff, which is nice. And the lady came out and her daughter went to the same place Steven's going. So she gave her a hug and told her she's gonna be okay and Walk walked her. her to class. And apparently Blake cried at recess and there's yeah, a lot we of heard things. That from going Blake. On. She was like, Well, I was crying at recess, so some teacher <laughs> took me over here, and I'm like, who knows what happened? And so then I got in the car and then I so Jordan had just barely stopped kind of bawling and we were taking her to yeah. school because she had stuff she had to get done there. Jordan, yeah. And so I'm quiet crying, just tears just flowing down my face. I'm like, I have my face tucked into the corner of the car, trying not to make it so Jordan can see mm -hmm. that I lost it again because I was all the way gone. And Jordan's head on Steven's shoulder in the back. No one's talking. We dropped Jordan off. I mean, she was pretty good. Yeah. She was upset, but she was good at that point. Mm -hmm. They even, at the junior high... They got her in there and they're like, let's take you to this back bathroom here. Let's help you get cleaned up. Let's get you a drink of water. So they were really nice. everyone was great. And then Taylor. <laughs> we're just dropping off bawling kids at school. And Taylor literally was like, you can't, I can't do it. She wouldn't say goodbye. No. She did, but she wouldn't. She wouldn't at first. She wouldn't get walked to her car to get to drive to school. She just like froze. Like I'm not doing any of it. And so at this point we're on what? 11 hours of tears. Yes, pretty much. Third goodbye. <laughs> Third goodbye. We like to drag it out. Just for us to get in the car to drive Steven for the official final fourth goodbye. Yes. this That last one, we ended on a good note because we had we an hour it. to talk. And we had gotten rid... We Not got rid. Wrong choice of words. Wow, you just... Gotten I was talking about the girls. We had gotten over the the part that Steven was most worried about was what I was trying to say. <laughs> gotten rid of the girls. 
Stop. We had ended wow. the part that I think Steven had been really struggling with. Because I'm like, anytime Parker, she would just be sitting there. Parker really struggled. And she would just be like, I love you, Steven. And then he'd be like, oh, start all over again. Yeah, he really didn't want to. But then we got on the car ride and we all had to kind of make a decision. It was like, I was like, just yep. so you know, Steven, because he was still pretty upset. Yep. I was like, you're actually about to have some fun. Yep. Like this place is a good time. It's going to be a blast. You're going I, on an adventure. Most people I know enjoy this part. You're going to be in a building full of people your age mm -hmm. doing the same thing as you. There's a lot of fun that happens. It's not all just this depressed, I'm <laughs> leaving and I'm gone forever situation. Yeah. And we all started cheering up. We went and had hot dogs at a hot, cool hot dog place. Yeah. There were other people there in the same boat as Steven getting ready, eating their last hot dog, their last supper yep. with their family. And I think I might have been cried out. Uh, yeah. I, I was. don't know if I had more no, left. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Save some for later. <laughs> I, did, I, I was good. Back there. I did, I did start swelling up when I was sitting in Steven's car today mm. on the side of the road. Oh, okay. Watching the TikTok that you posted that you were talking oh, about. The TikTok that everyone likes to watch. I was like, why am cry. I watching this? Same thing, should I be doing that in his car yep. that I may have totaled? We will get to that. That, now we'll get to the angry part of the portion of the podcast. But dropping him off, we had a good, we took a, we took a picture just with the three of us, you know, hugs, tiny emotions. He was still crying. He was, he's a crier, but more excitement, I think. Yeah. Nervous excitement. And then there were people there ready to, they're like, let's go. This is awesome. And he walked off looking. Did you burp a little bit just now? I did. I think that needs to be noted. <laughs> Thanks for pointing it out. <laughs> You're he, welcome. He walked off. Did you taste it still? Was you know, it's st it? the let, popcorn is overwhelming. Let me smell it. The popcorn taste is overwhelming. It it's what like it's burnt popcorn. It's Mountain Dew. Is that oh. where my Mountain Dew can went? No, I put it in the fridge for you. Oh, thank you. Because you just left it. And then I poured it in my Stanley. <laughs> but I left it because I was going out to check out on Steven's car. Yes. We left. Let me finish the sentence. We left Steven in good spirits. He was in good spirits. We were in good spirits. Yeah, we came home and then I went up into his room I mean, it hasn't to wash his sheets back to bad spirits. But I think Steven's having a great time. We are not here. Until Monday when he finds out. Yeah, we get to talk to Steven every week, which is amazing. <sighs> we may leave out what has happened to us today. The day after he left, literally the only time Steve has gotten in his car to drive it. I took his car to take Jordan to school. Yeah. And totaled it. Okay. <clears throat> his car, his Camaro, not just his car, he's in love with this thing. He just- It was just recently in a crash. That he recently wrecked and it recently got it back. Do I even have this picture on here of Steven? Oh, he is gonna be, his one thing was like, don't let anyone drive this thing who's gonna hurt it. Yeah, don't let anyone drive this thing that's gonna hurt it. We're joking. Oh, well, maybe Peyton will learn to drive in it. That's not gonna happen now. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, guys. He's hugging his car. I don't know car. if you need to zoom in this, on this. He's hugging his car. That was his yesterday. Well, you should have just left it in there. It made so much sense. It was a short drive. It's not in there anymore. No, it's actually on a trailer. That we towed. I'm angry, actually. I'm so, driving down the road. You tell the story, and then, honestly, if there's any lawyers in here... There aren't any lawyers. I'm talking about us three? This. I'm not a lawyer. Not, a, not us. Someone watching and be like, what can we do? We're driving down the road. In this situation. Me and Jordan. There's cars ahead of us. It's a busy air road in our, our tiny town. And I see an object in the road. But there I'm, it's construction there's two everywhere lanes. on this there's road. There's right in the middle of a construction zone. I'm building homes everywhere. And there's a big metal thing in the road. And I can't swerve. It's where my passenger side tire would probably hit close to. And so I was like, I can't hit it. So I can't, but I can't swerve away from it because if I do, I'm in oncoming traffic. And so I tried to swerve to get it in between the tires to see if I could go over it. And I went over it and it absolutely thrashed the car and immediately oil, smoke. And I pulled over, it was loud, bing, bang, bong. And 
car is totally damaged. It was a water well, hit, cover, hit, hit. water, just a water cover, like where you go to turn picture. the water on for the city. I have a picture. Like a manhole cover. Yeah, like a manhole cover, which is big, but it's a water cover, so it's like this. It's the size of this. It really is like the size of this. Just, you know, that thick. And Steven's car is kind of low to the ground. And I went over it. It busted a hole in the oil pan. That. Tiny. It's actually in its place now. It was not in its place. We hit that. It hits the oil pan, busts a giant hole. All oil in the car comes out. Bends the frame on the bottom of the car in two different places and smashes the transmission box, potentially ruining the entire transmission of the car. We had someone come and look at it just recently and said, that may be totaled. He said... That's when depression level... That's when I poured this bowl of popcorn. Now you're, she's joining my level of depression. She's Actually, I'm in, doing okay right now, but when we're done podcasting, I'm going to go like scream in my I have to home. take it now to a shop to get an actual estimate for the insurance company and that kind of stuff to see. I don't know. Like I was told that the worst case scenario is you hit a object in the road. It's covered, but it's going to be my fault in that case. It'd be an at-fault accident. But I have the information from the construction company. Like, they were super helpful. They helped us push the car. Like, they were good people. They the don't... problem is, is that I get an object in the road, right? Like, if something were to blow in the road, something fall off of someone's car, and it's there. It's dumb, though, because it's not your fault, right? Like, if yes. you can't avoid it. But this is, like, something that is in part of the road that... Obviously, people are using, I think, at the moment. There's construction on both sides. Yeah, but the thing, there's literally cars driving over the top of it. Yeah. So there's no way this thing was just left there because it would have been hit before. It had to have happened almost minutes before I hit it. You think moments somehow, before I hit it. how does it get popped up? So when we were watching, we put it back in the hole where you saw, and cars are driving over it, and it's rattling. Okay, so that is. I know. I'm gonna try to see what I can do. The actual like what? The I just city have to tell problem. this whole story to the insurance the company and see what happens. I have no idea. I didn't even know what to do because normally you get in a car accident. Who's in charge of the roads? There's cars there. Because that's gonna happen again. And so we have totaled Stephen's car one day, not even 24 hours of him being gone. No. Totaled his car. He doesn't know about it yet. He doesn't even know yet. We and guess have... what? Do you want to know the the funny thing is? There's a funny part? No, oh, it's not funny. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> I'm being very sarcastic. Please we share this hilarious moment with me. One, like, really working vehicle. Yeah, the truck's broken down. The truck's broken down. My Tesla... Has been wrecked. ...obviously got wrecked. So, and Taylor's car... Don't even, like... That's another conversation altogether. But it's, she's it's driving. Running. It's running, but she has to, like... Anyways, it's been in the shop to fix something that has never been fixed since we bought it. So not very reliable. The only vehicle that we have right now is a rental because my Tesla got ruined. We're screwed. And we just told Steven's car. What kind of luck, honestly? I have an unregistered Jeep that's my brother's in my house right now too. Okay, well. <laughs> I don't even know, like, do you guys know what we should do? <laughs> Comment down below. So, or do you think we just have bad luck? These are this is like, I this think we have bad luck. Is just the you'll is see this if you don't hear from us for years. You'll is be this like, a this ranting? Is, what is this like our yeah? Are we venting and then we're going away forever? I'm. I mean, maybe. I'm ready to like sell everything we have and just move to Orlando, Idaho, or something. And never. Oh, never I mean, there's again. gonna be plenty of things wrong with that one too. The disaster follows us. Man, we We've are. had some pretty. We thought we were lucky people. When? For a couple of years, maybe, and then it yeah, is, maybe it's been pretty lucky. bad luck for a while. We're not lucky anymore. I can't even tell Parker because she honestly thinks that like it's following us. If we have a trip, like a camping trip, where nothing goes wrong, it's like, what has happened? Because something. Been a camping trip that nothing's gone wrong. You no, know, there had to have been one. That's a whole nother podcast. I think there was one, and that's why Parker was like, wow. And by going wrong, I mean, like, literally, like, RVs almost falling down the side of the mountain because they were slipping in mud. The truck blowing up, practically. I'm ready to light them all on fire. I don't think that's allowed. 
But it's tempting. Should we sell everything we own? Just live on the streets? Well, no, but... Oh. I think the more things you own, the more chances you have of things going we'll Sell on. everything we own, and we're going to move into our trailer in Idaho. We're not going to build a place. We're just going to live in the trailer. Mm-hmm. Someone's going to have to take the kids <laughs> that you got rid of earlier in the story. <laughs> Guys, this is getting super depressive. I mean... It has been a brutal week. Yeah. And I'm sad. I feel sadness a lot. I don't think that's going to go away. I don't think so either. And I told Steven Scar, so now I, I have to figure out that. <clears throat> Super excited about ruining his one thing he left behind, basically. That he loved the most. <laughs> the one thing that he loved the most. Well, I mean, I've made his room nice and clean. <laughs> And you ruined his car. It's not your fault, though. That was rough right there. I, I do like... want to know who's at fault. If you guys have any idea of who would be at fault, that we can, that we can. All you insurance agents out there, whoever you are, claims adjusters, call us. We know you're watching this podcast. Yeah, totally. Let us know what to do. We're sorry. Let us know, guys. And we have other fun podcasts planned. If we continue to do it, just joking. If you ever see us on YouTube again after this. <laughs> we not. have some fun videos that we're going to do. But um, make sure you watch all of Steven's leaving videos. We're going to have several going up on all of our channels. So, yeah. And Don't. subscribe to our podcast. Subscribe. Watch it a couple times maybe. Just let it roll. <laughs> watch just the joking. depression over and over. But we appreciate you guys. We're just a little bit down. Yep. And out. But you know what? Next week we'll be in better spirits. Yay. Got to knock on one just in case. But thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.